Hey guys, welcome to Share Skull Studios. It's Raven Wolf. Um, basically, we're gonna go after the Commander news today. Y'all know I make. If you're a subscriber, you're you've probably seen some of my deck lists. I make every Friday. Um, I've been avoiding the stuff to try and let everything settle down before I try and do a video on it because I've been wanting to announce stuff like that before. So. Basically, if you're unaware, even though you've probably seen like Commander's Quarters or the Magic Historian do video on it, the rules committee for, you know, the ban list for Commander, um, basically, they made a new ban. They banned Mana Crypt, Dockside, Nob Nadu, and Jewel Lotus, which I agreed with the ban because uh, I've played with people who... Put those in almost every deck they can. Say they're playing casual and they'll steamroll everybody because they just have more resources at their disposal than everybody else. So I understand the ban. I understood that if we just played with that ban list at you know certain you know Friday Night Magic tournaments with Commander and all that stuff, that if it ended up not changing the game that much, that they would get unbanned. I understood that. Um, you know, I agree with the ban, and some of my buddies that didn't agree with the ban, they knew that it would eventually get unpanned in the future. But, apparently, on X and Discord and all this, a bunch of Magic the Gathering Commander players um, decided to death threat and dox the Rules Committee members and the advisory group to the commander rules committee members and i just don't understand why because this again is a game i get like people lost money but the thing about magic the gathering's card prices on the third market or secondary market has always been like a stock market so anything can happen to a ban list or a set release that will shift a card price dramatically i rem like Besides a few cards that have, like, come out in the past couple years, uh, some of the cards have, like, dropped in price dramatically. Uh, I remember when Ur-Dragon was $75. Anybody else remember that? When an Ur-Dragon was $75, and now you can get a full, like, the original Ur-Dragon for 20 Like, his most expensive one is this Secret Layer art, and that's still, like, 40 bucks, which is half what he used to be. So, again, like, this is stuff that, like, again, people, if you're going into a card game as trying to make money, you have to take the risk that you're going to lose money. If you're in it for the business, you're in it for the business. If you're in it for the game, then, and if you're in it for the game and you're that angry about this ban list that you want to send death threats, you need to chill or just leave the community. Quit magic. If you're going to get this angry at a card game. Uh, because with that ban list. Literally if you cannot make a deck without those four cards. Especially the three mana rocks. Jewel Lotus, Mana Crypt, and Dockside. If you cannot make a deck without those. Then learn how to deck build. I, I have a... I go to the Mana Pool in Cove here in Texas. Um... And a bunch of the CEDH players got over it within, like, that day. We're like, man, this sucks, but you know what? Well, um, put in some removal, some more interaction, or another combo piece, or protection, or another land if you need mana that badly. Or, like, some people with, like, red instead of Dockside to put in the ritual. And there's a bunch of red rituals that are even better that if you're doing Storm... Archaeomancer and whoever the red version of Archaeomancer is can get him back from the graveyard. There's so many ways to cheat man out still. None of that was acceptable. And now the rules committee has quit and turned this over to magic. So, and as the, the commander quarters and magic historian and probably Talarian Community College is going to agree to is that now that we don't have that buffer for wizards, the ban list is now going to be a money pit. So maybe cards that were toxic for reasons um, might just get unbanned. Um, so we'll have a more toxic play style among players. Or 
uh, there'll be a problem card that gets printed, and now we can't stop it. And because everybody could have ruled zeroed in casual, just playing outside of tournaments, everybody could have ruled zeroed a Darkseid, or Manda Crypt, or Dual Lotus, a Nadu, or anything on the ban list like people have been doing. I've played with an unset commander. I made a Discord. The villain from the My Little Pony, I, when his card came out from that single air, and I got it. I made a Discord commander that just gave me a free card out of um, Magic's history. So, yeah, so I would just go and scry fall on, my, on the app of my phone, and I would just click a random card, and boom, that's what I got. So, again, Rule Zero has always been the talk, and now they have going to the bottom of, like, tier list now, because we everybody was talking about power level, and everybody was saying, you know, oh, my deck is a, uh, like, a, a 7, you know, it's like a 10, and again, this is Command Quarters, and the Magic Historian have gone over it, because they ha they're doing this bracket system, the four, the power, the four power brackets, and it's like, yeah, my deck's like, you know, what's the weakest one? That make it more consistent. It's a bracket four card, yeah. So yeah, this argument right here is just is dumb because you you can argue that like your power your bracket four deck could be a a bracket two deck because uh you have ancient tomb but it's tomb themed, but it's I don't know. And then they're using cards like examples like Grim Monolith, Armageddon, and the the one drop tutors, I can see those being bracket four cards. These here, bracket four cards. Nobody wants to play these. Swords of Plowshares is just common removal. Grave Titan is not as good as it used to be. When I started playing Commander in 2013, Grave Titan was busted. Grave Titan was broken all over the place, the same as Sun Titan. Cultivate, everybody was running Cultivate back in the day. But yeah, if you had a Swords of Plowshares or a Grave Titan, bro, Grim Monolith, you need, um, was it Monument or Forsaken or Azurda? Azurda to break Grim Monolith or, um, the other things that will untap artifacts. This does not, this is not like, it's old, but this is not a super competitive card. It's probably only because it's old and it's on the freaking reserve list. Ancient Tombs has been reprinted, and um, here, we'll go see, here, I go to Card Kingdom, because that's where I go for like, all my stuff, go to Card Kingdom, uh, we have to finish spelling it, Ancient Tomb, and I'm going on rant, this is a rant episode, because I'm, I'm tired of this stuff, so we'll do low, lowest uh, playable Ancient Tomb, 95 bucks, are they, so it's one of those two, is like, Um, like, that's a bracket four card. To me, like, I don't know. It's one of those. Ancient Tomb's a good one for bracket four. Again, with Margaret, but not Source Plot Shares, Grave Titan. No, those are not. The people who, and this shows you how out of touch people wizards are with Commander, is that they think these three are power cards, and like that Grim Monolith is a power card when it's, it's, it's cheap, it's easy to get out. And you, you net one mana, but then you have to pay four to untap it. It's like Mana Vault. Everybody's comparing Mana Crypt to Mana Vault and Grim Monolith. You have to have so many other pieces out where Mana Crypt doesn't. Grim Monolith, Mana Vault, you need comp other pieces out to make them good. So, again, and nobody, everybody was sending these death threats, even after, like, it was proven that Olivia... They didn't sell their cards. They were literally taking pictures of their stuff, like, and that Olivia was, you know, everybody was coming out and saying, like, yeah, she was trying to stop the ban, but she's still getting threats, like, bro. And all you out there who didn't, you know, throw a tantrum, and all y'all who were like, all right, this just sucks. I disagree with it, but you knew, you know, and you just voiced your opinion. Good on you. But all the people who acted like children threw tantrums and wanted to send death threats. Grow up. This is a card game. We're here to play games, man. Like, I get if you're going to, like, a competitive term, but here, and I've told this to my buddies, too. This happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! all the time. There'll be a national 
like a, a nationals tournament, people go in. There'll be a ban list the day before, so they're going to this tournament trying to find build another deck that they're having to spend money on at the expo. I've seen stories about this on YouTube of like players go like, yeah, went in uh, and yeah, half my deck got banned or nerfed, so I had to like come up with another deck, or I just had to play and replace the cards with other pieces. And it's like, if Yu-Gi-Oh players can do it, and I've met a lot of toxic Yu-Gi-Oh players that have have had to do that. We can too in Magic. We can. Especially with all the power creep nowadays. Magic can calm the hell down about a ban. We can be upset about it. You're free to voice your opinion. Like, man, this sucks. Why are these cards getting banned? I disagree with their points. Argue your points. Whatever. First Amendment, you know, freedom of speech. But not death threats. Not trying to dox people. That is too far. We're here to play a game. Just have some fun. Rule zero. Let's keep that up, and I'll be honest, if we have enough support, start, hashtag, bring back RC. Bring back RC, hashtag it. Let's go put that on X, uh, try and do what you can, you know, don't, we need to take Commander away from Wizards. Do not let them have that authority. It's a social, don't let Wizards do this, don't let. Don't let wizards make the ban list. Don't let let them commit to the rules. Let the RC do this. They've done a good job so long, even with past bans. So, yeah. Start this. Bring back the RC. Give them the respect they deserve. Even if you don't agree with them, they are trying the best they can. Let's see if we can undo this because I told people RC will double down if you keep throwing tantrums. They're not going to reverse this in a week. They're not going to give you back your stuff if you throw tantrums. And look what happened. Like, all right, cool, we quit. And we'll give you a worst case scenario. Wizards now has the ban list. I predicted, I told people this was going to happen. If they just... If they could have just accepted the ban list and just played the game, put something else in the deck. So, yeah, these people, they, they wanted to throw tantrums in. Like, oh, this is, that, that was never going to make the game better. Throwing a tantrum was never going to bring make Commander a better game. Um, I want to go back to like days where people would just voice their opinions, and if people were like just commented enough, like, "Hey, no one likes this. Can we at least unban one of these cards?" Had a reasonable discussion or a hashtag or enough like social backlash without the threats and the doxing. Cause that that there that could have been done, but people went too far. So even if we can't, if the RC doesn't take. Control of Commander back. Remember, guys, this is just a game. Let's all get along, play together, rule zero talk. It's not that hard. And remember, don't be toxic out there. If you want to play high power, let everybody know, like, hey, I want to play a high power deck. But know that if no one else is want to play high power, put that deck away for another day, man. Just. Play a casual deck. Don't be a smart aleck. Be like, yeah, it's my casual deck. And try and win on turn two or three. Don't do that. Just have fun. Just enjoy. I get people wanting to grind in games. But there's a certain limit on grinding out games where nobody else gets to play. And just sitting there and getting to talk to other players and just... Play your stupid cards. Like, play, you know, your favorite cards. That are like, maybe not, like, my favorite, one of my favorite commander, commanders is Ishan's Shade. I made Shade Tribal. Worst tribal ever. I've made videos on it. Um, terrible, terrible tribe. But I played it because it was fun. I didn't care if I won. I got to play Shades. I got to play my favorite card in all of Magic, which is Whispering Shade. It's a terrible card, but it was one of my first cards I ever really liked in a pack that I got with my own money. So, 
Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let it go. But I just had to get this off my chest because I'm tired of apparently last Monday seeing everybody's toxicity over this when I just told everybody to calm down, stop crying about it. No matter what happens, it's a game. And I didn't think that the RC would quit. But apparently y'all, some, some of y'all out there pushed them this far. So I'd say now that this has happened, try and if you are one of the people that were sending death threats, please send an apology to them. Tell them like, look, I was just angry. I'm sorry. Please don't give commanders to wizards. Bring RC back. Bring back the RC. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I'll see y'all again next time, and hopefully my next video will be a little happier. Bye-bye.